Hello YouTube, this is Lachlan 1984 from Melbourne, Australia and I just wanted to make a quick video about this little stereo system that I have. It's a Philips CD sound machine and the model number you can see there AZ1856 I've had this for about three years I think. It's a fairly typical portable stereo system with you know cassette, FM radio into CD player, but one of the really nice features of this unit is it has this USB port on it. So, you can see I've got my thumb drive plugged in there. It allows you to play MP3 files and Windows Media audio files stored on the thumb drive, but the other thing that it allows you to do is it allows you to basically make digital recordings of your tapes or what's on the radio or your CDs to the thumb drive. So, if I turn the unit on here, we'll put the radio on. Jay. And I just press the USB record button. So now it's recording what's playing on my radio to the thumb drive in MP3 format. Check it out. Uh, yeah. It records at 128 kbps mp3 stereo, of course. And so, when I'm going to stop that, I just push the stop button. And it finalizes the recording. And so then if we want to play that back, we go to the CD player. And then I push this button. And it's just reading the thumb drive. Now I've used this unit to digitise my Teddy Ruxpin cassettes. So what I did was I put the tape, Teddy Ruxpin tapes into the tape player and recorded them digitally to my thumb drive because what I wanted to do was listen to them on my MP3 player. And so I recorded all my Teddy Ruxpin tapes to my thumb drive and then I was able to transfer them to the computer just from the thumb drive and then in Audacity I removed the right audio channel which has the animation coding on it. So if I want to play back that song that I just recorded off the radio there, I just push previous and then hit play. Check it out, uh, yeah, yeah. From the moment we and you can hear it's playing music off the radio. The other really cool thing that you can do, and I'll just grab this CD here, is you can transfer music from CDs to a USB thumb drive. Now, it's not as good as ripping a CD into your computer using Windows Media Player, for example, or iTunes, because when you rip a CD into your computer, or import the CD in the case of iTunes, you are, you are extracting the raw data from the CD and then digitally converting it to an MP3 file. When you record with this, it's actually recording in real time. So if you're recording a 45 minute CD you know, onto this unit, onto your thumb drive, it's much like recording onto tape. It'll take 45 minutes to copy a 45 minute CD. But doing a USB recording is very simple. You just press the USB record button. If you just want to record a single track, you select the track you want to record. And then you hit the USB record button. If you want to record the whole CD, you press the button twice. As I have done. And you'll see that the indicators are flashing on the screen. And it automatically started the CD. So that's recording now, but I don't want to record that CD, so I'll stop it. I've turned the volume down, I'll stop the CD. And again, you want to play it back, you just go to the USB mode. So there we are. Let's record that.
one of the things that I really like about this unit is that you can also record from cassettes. So, here's a Teddy Ruxpin cassette that I haven't yet digitised. It's Teddy Ruxpin's Christmas. In order to copy it, all I have to do is put the tape in, as you normally would. Close the door. And just make sure the tape is right at the start, which it is. Then all I have to do is press play. Oh, okay, the tape wasn't fully wound on. Okay, now it is. So, I just push play. And then press USB record. And it's recording now. So that's now being recorded to my thumb drive. Come dream with me tonight. Hi there, I'm Teddy Ruxpin. And grubby, everybody. I'll just turn the volume down. I'll let that record. So, it's... Got quite a nice few, got, got quite a few nice features on it. Um, if you're wanting to digitise all your tapes, this is probably not the best option, because the MP3 encoder that it uses is very lossy. When you make recordings, they you do hear kind of a digital kind of swirly kind of sound in the audio. It's not the best recorder I've used. If you really want to make a good job of digitising your recordings, the best thing to do is use a, a good, higher quality cassette player connected to your computer and record them into a program like or anything from Audacity to SoundForge, if you have the money for it. The other thing I don't really like about this unit is the radio is FM only. It's not AM and FM. I don't know why they designed it like that, but it's only FM, so I think that's a little bit disappointing. You can use the unit on six c size batteries. I'm currently using it plugged in. Another thing I should point out too is the unit can run on lots of different voltages. It can run on 240 volts AC, which is what we use here, but you can also use it on 120 volts AC. So if you live in America, for example, or Japan, or some other country that uses 120 volts, you can use this unit without any trouble. There's a switch on the back that allows you to change the voltage. Brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel. Well, when the poor man came inside, gathering winter fuel. The holly and the ivy. Yeah. When the recording ends. The auto stop will turn the tape deck off and at the same time the USB recording will stop so it's all interconnected so you can't if the tape deck's in stop mode and you press the USB record button nothing happens. You've got to make sure the tape is playing first before you can make a USB recording and then as I say once the tape stops the USB recording function will stop too. So it's a good feature so you can Record your tapes and leave it unattended, and it records everything, and then when the tape stops, it stops recording, so you don't have to worry about it continuing to record even after the tape has stopped. It creates folders on the thumb drive for each recording that you create, so every time you're making a recording, it creates a new folder for that recording. When you record CDs, each track is stored in a new file, so if you're recording a full CD with this thing you can then jump from file to file using the previous and next buttons as you normally would. Being it also plays MP3 CDs and it's probably not much point demonstrating that it, it works as well as you expect it to. But overall I really like this unit. I paid about $118 for it when I bought it but it's actually been quite good. I quite like it. Anyway Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them. Bye for now.